Hey guys, what's up? It's Scoundrel here, and today we're going to be looking at a very short video looking at the difference between Shattered Glass and Broken Myth and their respective damage outputs. Now, again, as you guys know me, I love to use maths, and I've been using some of those Blue Badger calculations again. Uh, seems to work very similar as basic attacks. It is literally just CP divided by 1 plus shield over 100. Uh, but with Broken Myth, it's slightly different. You have to calculate both the pierce, do the same calculation. And then for every Broken Myth stack, you times that output by 0.04, which gives you the 4% increase in damage. Because you get a 4% increase to both the true damage and also the damage that is affected by shield. So that is how you do the Broken Myth stack calculations. Now, there is a lot of data to process here, so I have decided to change it up and do something on a graph. This is something different than I usually do. I usually show you in tables, but I think graph, given the amount of data that I had to get through, was far better. The top line represents Shattered Glass, and the lines that are all very close together represent Broken Myth at 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 stacks, respectively. You can pause the video if you want to check out the colors. Now, biggest conclusion that you can get here is that even at 211 shield and 9 broken myth stacks, Shattered Glass still outperforms broken myth as a first item. So therefore, if you're looking for straight up burst, Shattered Glass is going to be better than broken myth in every situation. Let's change things up and look at if we add a Shattered Glass to either build. So double Shattered Glass versus Shattered Glass broken myth. Shattered Glass, you can see, Outperformed by Broken Myth at lowest shield value, 20 at 9 stacks. But as the white line decreases, which is the Shattered Glass line, you'll see that at 211 shield, it takes only 3 stacks of Broken Myth to equal the damage of a double Shattered Glass. Uh, and you can see that illustrated by the arrows. And you'll see throughout the course of that line, at the various points, that Broken Myth becomes better. For instance, at 126 shield, Broken Myth becomes better at 5 stacks. Uh, at 53 shield, Broken Myth becomes better at 7 stacks. So it takes a number of stacks to get Broken Myth better at just 2 CP items. The difference is actually fairly low. When Aegis comes into play, Broken Myth, pretty easy to maintain 3 Broken Myth stacks. So you can always say that your damage output is going to be equal, if not better, than 2 Shattered Glasses when the opponent has an Aegis. Uh, but obviously, the more CP you get, the more that Shattered Glass line is going to fall down and down compared to Broken Myth. So the conclusion that we draw here is that Broken Myth is better the more CP you get. But as a first item, you absolutely never do it. And at double item, it's still fairly even on par with double Shattered Glass. So those are the two calculations that you draw from that. You also have to think about the ease of the hero's ability to maintain Broken Myth stacks. And also think about... Um, you know, if it's a lot of if you're doing it in straight up burst damage, that so you're not going to be able to build broken myth stacks, stacks beforehand. So it's just an interesting video to open your mind as to the difference between double shattered glass and broken myth. And these are the sort of the conclusions that we have drawn. Broken myth is more effective the more CP you get. Remember, the CP damage increases to both the true damage and the damage affected by shield. Shattered glass will always outperform broken myth as a first item. So never build broken myth as first item if you're looking to get an advantage. You're looking to want to go shattered glass first or frostburn. Um, Frostburn is a very much utility focused item, however. And finally, double Shattered Glass will be outperformed by Broken Myth Shattered Glass. The more shield the enemy buys, and that's three Broken Myth stacks. And the more CP you get, the better Broken Myth becomes. Hope that's been useful for you. It was something that I just figured out uh, that I wanted to make a video on when we had an issue on the VGL stream where we were talking about this, uh, about what point Broken Myth becomes better than Double Shattered Glass. And I decided I'd do the maths behind it and have a look. Hopefully it was a short, informative video and you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Twitch, which is where I'll be streaming most days of the week now. See you soon.